Hi, everyone. I'm Tracy Matisak, and I'm delighted to be with Teresa Chung. She is the conductor of the Altoona Symphony Orchestra. They will be performing in Humanities on the Road's taping of Dvorak's New World. It is going to be a fabulous production, and we're taping it at the Mischler Theater in Altoona. Teresa, thank you for making time for us, first of all. And this whole program is really the result of a collaboration between yourself and Carl Middleman. Yeah. Tell us how that came about. Well, Carl is a great, um, he's a very curious person, and he comes in a lot to the Bart Music Festival where I work as an assistant conductor with the American Symphony. And uh, I've seen him qu for quite a few years. We never had a chance to really talk to him. And last summer, he just came at a reception and sat down next to me and said, hey, I just want you to know that, you know, I'm the Commonwealth Speaker for Pennsylvania, and I would love to uh, tell you that I have this project that I'm doing at the Michelin Theater, and my heart just popped out. I was like, wow, you know, you're going to come to Altoona. He said, yeah, he said, we always, and then I started to find out what he was doing, and so he said, I'm going to give a lecture on the Dvorak Nime Symphony. So it happens to be one of my, one of my most favorite pieces. And, and then next thing he said, you know, he said, do you think that we could collaborate? And I was like, every ounce of my body just said, yes, yes, I have to do that. You know, we have to do it as a, as a town, and we have to do it as a symphony orchestra. Well, we're so glad that you had that conversation, or we would not be here talking about it. You are an art educator, a music educator. Tell us why it's important to you to partner with a program like Humanities on the Road in terms of community outreach and education in the arts. I think nowadays um, our attention span has gone way down. And a lot of times, you know, music is an art form that only exists in time. It's like dance, theater. You can't experience it like a still life that's put on the table. You have to experience it through time. You have to have the patience for it. And I think a lot of times we don't know how to listen. It's not people don't like to. And then some people say, oh, I don't like classical music. Sometimes they don't, you know, how can you like something that you don't know, you know? So, you know, and I was like, you know, I'm very passionate. I do a lot of similar things here. And I said, you know, this is a great opportunity to dissect a piece of music and also relate some of the things that are more important, the human aspect of this music. A lot of times we think about music being created. We don't think that music is created by people that live just like us at a particular time. And, you know, it's not created in vacuum. And to me, the passion that I have is to really discover what these people experience and how we can duplicate it and then present it to our audience. Well, we are so looking forward to the program. Teresa Chung, thank you for being with us. The program is Dvorak's New World at the Mischler Theater in Altoona. Hope you can join us. I'm Tracy Matisak. See you next time.